Hello everyone, Mr. Lipchick here, and our topic for this segment of instruction uh, concerns the role of members of Congress in helping their constituents. Handling the problems of constituents. One of the important duties of a congressman is to handle casework for their constituents. Casework is helping constituents, voters who elect you to Congress, with their problems. Their problems, uh, especially as they relate to government services that they may not be receiving. Congressmen, congressmen receive many different kinds of requests for assistance. These requests usually result uh, are usually a result of citizens being unable to, to deal with a large government agency or a problem created by one. An example, if a veteran is having a problem with his or her veteran's benefits, they might call their congressman in order to deal with the Veterans Administration, which is a huge bureaucracy and acts very slowly. All lawmakers have caseworkers on their staffs to handle problems of their constituents. Usually the caseworkers can handle the problems themselves. Sometimes all it takes is an inquiry to get the agency involved. Occasionally, however, the congressman must get directly involved when the caseworkers cannot resolve the issue. Casework is important to congressmen because it helps to get them re-elected. They come out as the good guy. Knowing this, congressmen will seek to find casework for their staffs to perform. Casework is also a way for Congress to monitor the executive branch by measuring how well the government agencies are serving the people. Because the federal government is so large, casework has become essential for many people to receive help with their government problems. Helping the district or state. There are three ways in which congressmen help their districts or state. One, through pork barrel legislation. Two, by getting grant federal grants or contracts for them. And three, by keeping federal projects. All of these things relate to potential employment for voters. Public works bills. These are bills that bring billions of dollars to districts or states through federal projects, such as the construction of government facilities, environmental projects, or transportation systems. These public works projects have a dramatic positive effect on local economies by bringing many jobs and funds into them. The congressman will compete for these funds. Pork barrel legislation is when Congress passes laws to appropriate money to local federal projects. This type of legislation is often wasteful and highly criticized. Frequently, these projects are unnecessary. Usually, lawmakers will help each other by supporting each other's bills in a practice known as log rolling. Some examples of pork barrel projects. Uh, are they wasteful? Uh, can you understand why they might have been passed? Uh, there are numerous ones. Uh, there's the Bridge to Nowhere in Alaska. Uh, there are uh, vehicles created for the military that the military refused to accept and didn't want. One million dollar study to find out why people don't like to ride bikes. A $20 million study, uh, excuse me, $20 million for a demonstration project to build wooden bridges. And 57000 spent by the executive branch for gold embossed playing cards on Air Force Two. Lawmakers also try to secure federal grants and contracts which are part of the federal budget for their states and districts. 
These have a huge impact on the state and local economies. Defense companies in particular bring many dollars and jobs. Um, and this is definitely going to help out the local economy and help out the lawmaker. They actively help their states and districts apply for these federal grants. Behind the scenes influence on federal spending. Lawmakers and their constituents will actively lobby federal agencies in order to influence their decisions as the agencies themselves actually control their activities and planning. That concludes our discussion on helping constituents. Thank you for viewing, and I look forward to seeing you in the live lesson.